hey guys welcome to another video so today i will show you how to fix the issue of blank screen in your flutterflow app right so sometimes when you build an app and you want to test it using the flutterflow test mode um you might notice that some screen just appear blank and you're sure you have something in them right but they are blank for some reason now when you tests in when you do um you you try to run your app with run mode you don't see the blank screen this blank screen only happens um with test mode guys i told you you need to um if you're learning flutter flow you need to make this google ai studio your best friend this thing literally knows everything about flutter flow right so um let me show you one of the issues when you're trying to test your app in test mode and you have this blank screen. Alright, so I have this tax screen here and um, I'm just going to click on it. So clicking on this should take me to um, a detail, a tax details pa detail um, page where you see the details of this tax. Right, so now what happens is when I open here, you know, this is the blank screen, right? I used to call it blank screen of death because you just you just don't know what's happening, right? There's no error, there's nothing. You just don't know why it is happening, right? So now the good news is uh, just a silly mistake on your end, right? That is why this thing is happening. So let me not waste your time. Let's jump uh, into Flutter Flow to show you why that has happened right so this is our screen this is our tax detail screen as you can see so now, let me zoom out a bit right so this is our tax detail screen as you can see right this is how it is supposed to look like it has all this all this um, ui and um, all this information right but they are blank in test mode right so to fix it you first need to check the main container the main column in this screen right is it scrollable or not right so if you have this your your main column here and you set it as scrollable right there's 99% chance that what is causing your problem you know they are actually inside this column right so it is not the column itself some people might have a, a scrollable column and inside that scrollable column they will have a list view that is also scrollable and expanded and stuff like that right so that is not the right way to do it right so first of all you need to look if you if these children all these children all this widget and the text and everything you need to be sure that none of them right none of them has expansion on it or flexible on it right so you have to go through them one by one like this has no expansion right go through all of them right so i'm just going to go through the container right this container is housing this right so you can see it has no expansion here go to go into the row it has no expansion and um i'm just going to go to the container housing this section you can see this has um flexible on it so i'm just going to turn that off and um continue doing my investigation and i can see this has none this has none this has none and let's go to the button right so go to the button oh yeah we can see this has um expansion flexible flex flexible is turned on here not expansion this is expansion or expanded right it's expanded all right so we have this and um it has flexible turned on right my pregnancy network yeah flexible right so you just have to turn them off if it is on you turn them off all right so now we have everything turned on we don't need anything to be expanded or you know inflexible um inside a scrollable column right so i might not have a perfect theory on why this is happening right but you know it just works right it just works you know disabling this options here just works right so we're just going to go back here and retest reload our app and um let us see if what we did actually fixed the issue all right so all right all right so welcome back and um let's test our um our fixed all right, so we'll go to this tax screen and um, let's just open it so it will take us to the tax details page all right so 
Well, as you can see, it worked. We no longer have the blank screen of death. You know, I used to call it blank screen of death because when you have, when you're here, you don't know what to do. You, know, it's usually frustrating, right? So this is it, and um, that's how you can fix any issue if you're having any issue with having this blank screen when you're testing out your app. So this is just go and check if you have anything that is expanded in a scrollable column right so guys that's it for this video right um make sure you subscribe to the channel and um as i said i will try my best to be dropping more tutorials more videos i'll try my best to be consistent with the videos right see you in the next video bye